Southampton will come into Saturday's FA Cup fourth round tie against Tottenham full of confidence that they can win, having beaten Spurs 1-0 on New Year's Day. It is a scenario that few could have envisaged following the record-breaking 9-0 thrashing handed to the Saints by Leicester exactly three months ago Saturday. But having since shot up the Premier League table and away from the relegation zone, they are now well positioned to attempt a cup run. Read more, Chelsea 2-2 Arsenal. Hector Bellerin's late strike sees 10-man Gunners earn point and show heart at Stamford Bridge manager Ralf Hasenhutl and his team deserve huge credit for the drastic turnaround following that humiliating and unprecedented defeat. They had just 8 points from their opening 12 games but have managed 7 wins and 29 points from the following 12 matches, with victories over Chelsea, Spurs, and Leicester. So how have the Saints gone from certain relegation to within 3 points of a European place? Change in formation The first and most immediately noticeable change is a shift in formation. Hasenhutl immediately departed from the 3 4 3 that had failed him in spectacular fashion against Leicester and returned to a 4 2 2 2, which he trialled last season and previously used at Air Bay Leipzig when leading them to second in the Bundesliga in 2017. There was a moment when I also must be self critical and see that I was on the wrong path, said the Austrian. This was not the way I wanted to play. The return to a four-man defence has brought the best out of full-backs Cedric Suarez and Ryan Bertrand, who have resumed more familiar roles and improved the team's defensive cohesion, despite the loss of a centre-back. Jan Bednarik and Jack Stevens have established a flourishing partnership in central defence with Yannick Vestacor dropping to the bench. The switch has prevented them being dragged out wide to cover the wing-backs. It has also allowed the Saints to play with two up front, giving informed Danny Ings a strike partner in the form of Shane Long. Michael Oberfemi or Che Adams, and he has reaped the rewards. The 27 year old has 14 goals Premier League this campaign, already his best return in the top flight and second only to Jamie Vardy among English marksmen. Collective pressing, but the defensive improvement is also a result of a shift in emphasis. Saints are pressing higher and more systematically, with wingers Stuart Armstrong and Nathan Redmond assisting in a more collaborative approach while also doubling up with the fullbacks defensively. It was a style that Hasn't Hutl had promised to deliver when he joined. It's about pressing, hunting, being hungry, he said. While Southampton had strayed from that, the 9 0 defeat appears to have helped them rediscover that desire. It took a long time to not only get the right shape but the right behavior in this shape, Hasn't Hutl said. It for more on this story, visit the news article link.